Here we are again, back at Gino's Air Cooled and Competition. Y'all probably say, not another transmission. This is what I do. All part. This is the early style pinion bearing. It's the one that gets a bolt on collar. Goes on, the gear stack goes on, and it gets pressed. This is a Klingenberg 412. Nice shape too, ring and pinion. Got this in on a core, and it turned out to be pretty good. A little yucky, but uh, with the grease, nobody looks like they've ever changed it. But we're going to put this in together and uh, bring it back from the long out gone, or whatever you want to call it. So this is where we're at. We'll press this gear stack on with the press over here and modify the gears, and then I'll trip this back on and try to show you how the stack goes up. This is step one on gear stack on the pinion. Gino's air cooled. Okay, back at Gino's air cooled again. Step two. We put this bearing on. Hold it up. Down on there. Then we put this little collar on. Which uh, goes on and then you have to use a special wrench. Which, uh, let me get it, I'll show you. You don't have to, you can use a punch, but it's best to have this wrench here. This is a wrench. This is for this type here. It fits in here like this. And then the other types of four cleat job that goes on the other side. You can buy these. Uh, you can get them from Long out there. He'll treat you real good. He's more expensive than anybody. I don't know where to tell you to get them. That would be reasonable. Wherever you can find it, maybe Bug Pack sells them or or empty or whatever. So you screw that on next. And then we gotta wind it up. Just, just pull it up and torque it. It's tight. I, I they probably is torque, but I was always tough. Pulled up as tight, tight as you can do it and that's good enough. I know a lot of people said, boy, you don't follow the books. Well, sometimes the books get you in trouble. And I was taught by a guy that went to school down there, and this is how he did it. And he worked at a dealer, so he never had any trouble, so I've never had either. And a lot of guys lie to you and tell you different torque specs, but uh, get in the book if you want it. It's in there. It'll tell you. Uh, I know this will work, and it's no problem. There's no rocket science to it. And uh, torque it down. And then what I do is lock it here with these little lock tabs. You just crease it down in there. But we'll be back for the gear set up then. Okay, I figured, well, I'll show you how I do it. Anyhow, I have a little thing I put in here. Tool goes, pinion goes in. I get on it, and I go like this. And then I look at where the lock tabs are. And if I don't like it, I put a little more pressure on it. You can see I'm turning the holder pretty good there in the in the press, so I'm going to have to tighten it back down again. I'm not the strongest guy, but now that should be good. The bearing spins nice and free, and uh, the lock tabs are right about where they were before. So what I do now is get a little punch. And uh, get my hammer over here. And there's three tabs here. Tamp it down. And that takes care of the nut coming off. You can see right here one, two, three. And if it ain't marked too good, you can take any one of those grooves around there. So we'll be back for more. And Gino's Air Cool setting up a gear stack. Okay, back at Gino's Air Cooled. Got the gears done with what I wanted to do to them. So now you put the you put this little thing on, you grease the bearing, you slide first gear on. 
And then what I do is put a little oil on the synchro, slide it down. On. But before I put it on, I put the shim in and I want to check my play. And I have plenty there. So that's good shape. So I put the synchro on and make sure the shim's down, which it is. And then I put the slider hub on. Check it again. Yep, it's there. Okay, second gear. You hold the synchro again, at least I do. And you slide it down in. Second gear. You grease it up. You put it down in there. The bearing. You oil it up. You slide it down in. Feels good. Okay, got to go over here, get third gear. You put third gear on. Then you put the uh, spring on. I got to get one here. Well, I'll be back. Got to go up on the shelf. Okay, back with the spring. Now on your uh, keyed ones you have a, a snap ring down here. You don't have this with a collar and shims. And then you have to figure that out. Okay. Got to heat reverse. Put reverse down on. Then I have to slide this down, press it down, put a clip in there. Gear stack's done. And why I didn't use the other hub was you can see the teeth are twisted here. And with those teeth being twisted, going to fly out of reverse. That hub's hot. And uh, we're getting a lot of that here. People just do not realize these little reverse gears, as you can see on there, the teeth are twisted. And they hammer it in like this. And it might be caught here and whoosh twists the teeth and turns it out. So we'll be back for the third and fourth gear stack on that one. Geno's air cooled. Okay guys, back at Geno's here. Adjust the camera a little bit. Third gear's ready to go. Get the dirt out here. And now we're going to put the grease around here or the oil, should say. Gotta watch what I say, everybody's pretty critical of you. And there's only one way this goes on. There's a groove here. You can see the groove. And it's tapered. But that don't always mean the drum's on the right way, so you gotta check both ways. And then, we will press this on. And if the clearance is right, we'll put fourth gear on. Gear stacks will be ready to go together. Back for more. Okay, back at Gino's air cooled. We put the bearing on. The play's right here. Had a little bit of play. So now we gotta pull up the synchro and put the fourth gear in, which is here, and the bearing collar. Here. Now, well, I guess we'll do it this way then. There we go. Feels good, feels fine. Now, we'll put the washer on. Yep, has play there. That's good. So both gear stacks are done, ready for the gear housing. There they are. Done, and that's all it's to it. Put them in neutral, and you've seen how I did the gear housing in the other video, and uh, that's how they go together. So, 
another lesson from Gino's Air Cold. You'll learn a little something, I hope. Anyhow, talk to you all later from Gino's Air Cold Competition.